Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. My name is Harmon. Today's video is also about a different Alcatraz inmate who is actually the first inmate to have attempted to escape from Alcatraz. Um, and this inmate that we're gonna be discussing and showing you uh, where he's buried, his name was Joseph Bowers. And Joseph Bowers was born December 13th, 1896. He was born in Rohrbach, Austria. And he ended up committing a postal mail robbery uh, where he robbed like a mail carrier. And he ended up getting caught and he was sentenced to 25 years in prison. Now, Bowers ended up arriving at Alcatraz on September 4th, 1934. So just under two years of being at Alcatraz, Joseph Bowers attempted to escape um, again, he was the first person to ever attempt any kind of escape at Alcatraz. He attempted to escape on April 27th, 1936. Another inmate stated that he saw Joseph attempting to feed some seagulls next to the uh, perimeter fence. Uh, Joseph stacked some uh, barrels up to the fence and climbed on the barrels and again started climbing the fence reportedly as he was uh, retrieving some uh, food that were stuck on the barbed wire and uh, he was again going to try to feed the seagulls. However, a tower guard turned around and saw him climbing the fence and so the tower guard opened fire. Many of the inmates stated that Joseph did not stop and try to climb back down after shots were being fired. Uh, he, he just kept climbing and so eventually he was finally hit by several bullets and he ended, he ended up falling over the fence uh, 60 feet down to the rocky shore below. Of course, killed instantly. Now there's different theories on Joseph Bowers in that some inmates state that they think it was an intentional suicide as Joseph Bowers had attempted suicide several times before. This was during the very early years of Alcatraz where the warden at the time stated that there will be no like talking between inmates. And so because of that, it set a really, really harsh setting, you know, for a lot of these inmates. So Joseph Bowers potentially either uh, committed suicide or it was actually a real, a real deal escape attempt. Anyway, this does not have anything to do with Joseph Bowers, but I just saw this and I thought it was very interesting. So Joseph Bauer's initial postal mail robbery ended up only netting him $16.38. So not even $20 is what he got from that robbery. And again, he was given 25 years in prison for that robbery. And now many people are stating that um, if Joseph was not in prison, like at Alcatraz or anywhere, if he was out on the streets, he would most likely be still committing crimes as he had a very expansive criminal record and he committed most of his crimes because he had a, a lacking ability to support himself. He was not able to pay rent, pay for food, or any kind of basic necessities. He committed all these crimes, including that postal robbery, uh, in order to support himself. And from what I've read, it sounds like Joseph Bowers was potentially insane or mentally ill, if you will. And so basically it sounds like he, you know, potentially could have committed suicide since he had other, uh, you know, other suicide attempts. Or maybe he just was so fed up with, you know, being stuck in that, that environment at Alcatraz uh, that, you know, he wanted to escape. Unfortunately, uh, we're never really going to be able to find out that answer of what his real true intention was that day. Anyway guys, so 
I attempted to locate Joseph Bauer's grave here at the Olivet Cemetery here in Daly City, California. And I talked to the receptionist and she said that he was buried, I guess, in the section uh, where they don't have any headstones. And it's like in the unkept area of the cemetery. And so, unfortunately, it looks like we won't have a real true deal headstone like, you know, like you see here. Not gonna be like that at all. It looks like uh, it's just like small concrete, like three inches by three inches concrete. Um, the number for his grave was 1832. That was like the, you know, the number for his grave. But I mean, this is what we're dealing with. I mean, it's like, you know, overgrown beyond belief and the only remnants of graves are these very very small you know so it, it's like you can kind of tell that there there are some graves here but you know there's no names no numbers nothing and it's it's like that for you know several acres over here so anyway, I, I attempted to find his grave for you. It pretty much is next to impossible since there's no names or numbers on these and it's all overgrown. But the fact that, you know, Joseph Bowers was the first Alcatraz inmate to try to escape, it just felt like one of those stories that I felt like I had to tell. And once again, uh, whether it be, you know, taking his own life or actually really truly trying to escape, regardless, Yes, he was a criminal. Yes, he committed crimes. But just something about it, it's like it's just like a sad, a sad existence, I guess. You know, he was only there for less than two years and then he's gone just just like that, you know, at 35 years old. I guess it just goes to show like how quick life can be, uh, especially if you end up going down the wrong path like he did. So I'm very, very happy and glad that I have, you know, made some positive decisions and haven't, you know, done anything like that. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to head out of here. I have a long drive to get to uh, San Jose area. So I'm going to head out of here. Thank you for watching. I've attempted to film this like 10 times, but there's been so many loud distractions like people mowing, weed whackers, super loud wind, airplanes flying above. So it's just been kind of a nightmare anyway um thanks for watching guys i appreciate all of you guys who watch my videos you guys rock thanks for watching